Today I want to talk to you guys about transfer addiction, what it is and how to overcome it. Hi, my name is Katerina and eight months ago I had weight loss surgery. So if you've been following my journey, I am back from Greece right now. I'm back in Canada. I'm really excited to be back home and uh, my son and I are on a walking trail today. And as I'm doing this walking trail, I thought about something. I thought about how do you um, keep on track with your weight loss and make sure that you don't fall into bad habits and at the same time, how do you avoid transfer addiction? I'll tell you what transfer addiction is all about, but first of all, if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate your support. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Katerina and I talk about weight loss surgery. I had gastric bypass surgery eight months ago and I talk about my experience. So if you're interested, please go ahead and subscribe. Every month I release a new video. Okay, so first of all, I wanna talk about my stats. So eight months ago, um, when I was about to have my gastric bypass surgery, I weighed 283.7 pounds. My highest weight was 357. And as of returning back from vacation, I am now 221.6. This means that I lost 5.9 pounds while I was away on vacation, which is mind blowing to me. Um, I do take my measurements. I like to not only weigh myself, but I do take my measurements. So my neck started at 17 inches. It's now at 15.5. My waist started at 52 and three quarter inches. It's now at 42.5 inches. Right arm 14 went down to 12.5. Left arm 15 is now at 13.5. Um, hips were at 56 inches. Now they're at 48 and bra size was 42 inches around my uh, bottom of my bra there, and now it's at 36 inches. So that's my stats. When I was on vacation in Greece, I had a lot of triggers. I was confronted with all these crazy desserts that I hadn't eaten in over 20 years. Um, the food in Greece is just amazing. And uh, I was really trying to control my food addiction. Um, one of the biggest issues that I have is binge eating and so I've been seeing a therapist I've gotten a lot of help through the years and I just didn't want to fall back into bad habits right um, and so I also wanted to enjoy my vacation I wanted to be able to eat all the foods that I wanted to eat and I also wanted to go out with my cousins and maybe go for a drink and I haven't had a drink uh, since before surgery so I was scared. I was scared. I was like, I heard about transfer addiction. Is this something that's going to happen to me? I already have a very addictive personality. Uh, for those that watch my uh, channel, they know that I've had a stroke in the past and it was due to a multitude of things. But one of the things it was caused from was stress, anxiety, and smoking, as well as the birth control pill. So I was addicted to food, I was addicted to cigarettes, um, I was addicted to just junk food and a bad way of living when it came to my health and creating all this stress and anxiety. So when I was on vacation uh, and I ate some desserts and I ate all these amazing food that I ate and had alcohol, I was scared of falling into bad habits because it's so easy to fall into bad habits, isn't it? I mean, you know, I was sitting in a place where it was covered with desserts and I wanted to eat everything. And thank God for the restriction. Like, honestly, thank God for the restriction. The restriction is just another tool that we have for us to keep on track, for us to stay healthy. Um, I've been seeing a therapist. I've been seeing a therapist way before I had the surgery. Uh, to deal with my issues, my food addiction, my binge eating. And um, there's many, many things that you can do to avoid falling back into bad habits. One great thing that you can do is keep track of the food that you eat. I use the Berry-tastic app. I've talked about it a million times on this channel. I absolutely love it. It tracks your food. It tracks uh, whatever micronutrients that you want to track. It tracks your weight, any goals that you might have, you can put it on there. I absolutely love it, the Baritastic app. The 
thing that you can do is exercise. I mean, it sounds silly, right? But just move, just move, just walk, get distracted, go out in nature, uh, keep busy. That way you're not thinking about whatever you're addicted to. So with transfer addiction, it's basically avoiding getting into a new addiction. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link with a very useful website that I found and uh, a couple of hints that my therapist has given me. And if you're interested, go ahead and look through the comments. I'll have it posted there as well. So for me, great news is I did not fall into any bad addictions. I didn't limit myself, however. I wasn't overly strict with myself either. I, uh, I did fall off the suggested food list a few times and that was okay for me. That was okay. I actually came back and I lost weight from vacation. I never thought I would. One thing that I've noticed with myself is if I put limits on myself, it's almost like I'm a stubborn child and I go against it, right? Uh, Self-sabotage, you know what that's about, right? Uh, Self-sabotage all the way for me, so I avoided that by not putting any limits. I enjoyed myself, I ate what I wanted to eat, I did exercise every day, I went on long walks every single day, I took care of myself and didn't limit myself and I had whatever I wanted. I indulged in everything I wanted and that made it a success for me. So that was my little hint. I wanted to share this with you because I think it's important that you think about those things. Um, it's important that if you're actually thinking about having weight loss surgery, it's not just a physical thing, it's a mind game. And it's important that you do get the help that you need um, by focusing on your body and your mental health as well. Focus on your physical and emotional health. Really look into yourself and figure out what it is that got you to where you are and what it is that will keep you away from it. And hopefully it'll help. Everybody's got their story and everybody's got their own way of dealing with things. But this is my story and I'm sharing with you the way that I deal with things. If you watched all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Every month I upload a new video, giving you an update on my journey. Um, so nine months is coming up soon. I'm really excited. I have a doctor's appointment for that. So stick around. Thanks so much for watching. All the best. We're going on a beautiful hike today. Lions. Lions. Can I go say hi to them? A a a a a it's a, a chipmunk. A what? Chipmunk. You found a chipmunk? Let's go discover in the forest. Oh, there it is. Look. Say hi, chipmunk. Then go get him. Go get him. Look at these big spider webs. There's one, a mini one. A mini one and, and a huge one here. And a huge one here with a hole. Oh my goodness, there's so many. I found the turtle. Sander, do you like being in the forest? Yeah. You're scared? Yeah. Oh, baby. It's so nice and safe though here. No, it's too cold. It's beautiful. It's so cold. Well, you're safe with mommy. <laughs> <laughs>